Welcome to another edition in our CSEC exam past paper questions and solutions here on Will EduTech. Now CSEC stands for the Caribbean Secondary Education Council and that's a body in charge of the Car of the um, secondary examinations here in the Caribbean before you enter university. Now here this question was taken from the May 2011 paper and it's 1b question 1 part b and it would fall on the general topic computation okay now the question states the table below shows Pamela's shopping bill some of the information was included was not rather included now here we have the items under the first col column in the left in the first column we have she purchased rice potatoes and milk and the quantities are as follow six kilograms well they should be six and a half let me just make that correction quickly they should be six and a half okay six and a half kilogram um, of rice and the unit price unit price is what she pays per kilogram so for each kilogram she would pay two dollars and forty cents and total cost here so obviously they would want us to find w now potatoes she bought four bags of potatoes we don't know the unit cost it's x so apparently we're gonna have to find that and the total cost came to fifty two dollars eighty now as you can see the rest of the information in the table now here at the bottom they're asking us to calculate the values of w x y and z and a typical question like this in the exam values five marks okay now good now Oh, I should explain VAT here down here in this last second to last row. Uh, we have Z percent VAT. Now VAT is really VAT really means a value added tax. Okay, for example, um, if you go to the supermarket or in the store to purchase um, some items, there's a percentage of each item that you would pay a value added tax. Okay, I know that in Trinidad they use the VAT value added tax and in Jamaica they use the GCT gen general consumption tax okay now having said that let's get to work now here they are asking us to find the total cost okay for six and a half kilograms of rice um, being sold at two dollars and forty cents per kilogram so this is pretty easy for part one let me just change the color quickly okay so for part one <coughs> I would have let, let's just write a general expression that represents the total cost okay so I can say that the total cost really is the quantity the quantity Q for quantity times the unit price multiplied by the unit price so I'm going to put UP for unit price and that would be gives us the total cost okay so total cost of a quantity so if you walk into a store you would first have to find out how much how much is it for an item that you'd like to purchase after you find out how much then you would basically decide how many of that item you need so basically the amount that it costs for one times the amount the total amount that you would need would give you the total cost meaning the amount the total amount of money you would pay for it okay now let's use this um, equation and see how it it, it, it it matches up to this so basically here what we have here is um, six and a half so she purchased 6.5 we can say 6.5 kilograms of uh, rice at a unit price of two dollars and forty cents so the total cost would be equal to six point five times two forty so we can pull up our calculator quickly because we were told we could use it okay so now we have let's clear this quickly we have two point four or two dollars forty same thing multiply by six point five or six fifty okay six and a half and that would give us fifteen dollars and sixty cents so here we would have a total of and let's just pull that up back quickly fifteen dollars and sixty cents so fifteen dollars 
and 60 cents. So therefore, for, for W, we could say, therefore, W is equal to 15 dollars and 60 cents okay and that's our answer for w okay so in essence you could make a statement since it's a worded problem you could say she paid a total of she paid a total total of 15 dollars and 60 cents let's put the dollar sign for six and a half six and a half kilograms of rice okay of rice so that's part one let's move on quickly to part two <coughs> sorry so let's just pull this up a bit so to give us a little bit more space to work with okay now here in part two here in part two we are told that potatoes she bought four bags of potatoes and she paid per unit cost the unit cost is x so we need to find that and the total cost is fifty two dollars and eighty cents so for part two um, we're trying to find the unit price okay now basically based on the general the general form here that we have this is what we're using to solve so I can say she bought four bags so the quantity is four times X so I can have four X because four is multiplying X X would represent the unit cost and that is obviously equal to the 52 which is the total cost fifty two dollars and eighty cents now this is just a little bit of algebra and if you're not sure about your algebra you could always visit our playlist to do a quick refresher course right on the basic concepts now to solve this equation I could say 4 is multiplying X so what number can I multiply by 4 to get to 52 point eight zero so since four is multiplying x i must do the opposite of multiplication which is division so i'm dividing through by four what i do to one side of my equation i must do to the next here four will cancel four therefore x is equal to and we can always pull up our calculator um because we, we, we are allowed to use it in these on these questions right so we have 52.8 divided by 4 and that is equal to $13.20 so we have 13 13 dollars and 20 cents so again it's a worded problem so we could put a um, we could use our statement Pamela paid so I could say now Pamela Pamela paid paid a total of thirteen dollars thirteen dollars and twenty cents for and remember it's a unit cost so I have to say for each each bag of bag of potato po T two okay all right so that's part two now for part three let's quickly look at that we are asked to find y so let's just scroll up a bit okay we could stop there so here again for part three we want to find how many cartons now of milk she purchased at a unit cost of two dollars thirty five cents and the total cost was fourteen dollars and ten cents so again quickly based on the general form that we have been working with that you that quantity times the unit price must be equal to the total cost that's the general form we're working with so let's just pull this up a bit so here now we would have let's just change the color here now I would have part three so part three states that and obviously um, since it's carton that's a quantity 
and the unit cost is $2.35 so I would say 2.35 multiplying multiplied by y because the unit cost times the quantity must be equal to my total cost which is $14.10 now again when you look at this um, 2.35 is multiplying y, so it simply means I must divide through by 2.35. What I do to one side, I must do to the other side, okay? Uh huh. So that will cancel that, so I'm left with y is equal to, and we can always bring up our calculators to work this out. So I'm saying 14. So here I have 14.1 zero divided by 2.35 and that is a total that gives us a total of six okay so we can now make our statement by saying therefore she purchased she purchased purchased six cartons cartons of milk okay um, let me just write the milk here I'm not sure if you can see it right there okay so let's just quickly erase that all right so here we have the fact that she purchased six carton of milks when on the value for y now for part z quickly they're asking us to find the percentage okay um the z the percentage that she paid for the value added tax so this is this can be calculated quite easily we can say well z percent remember z percent and i'll work out part four over here this is part four let me just quickly change that Okay, guys, one important thing to note is that Z% percent can be written as Z over 100, okay, because percentage is out of 100. So this is just another way to write that. So quickly, I can then state that. Let me just pull this up some more to get some space to work with. So here I have my total. My subtotal is 82.50. So I can take, um, so we can just write a quick um, equation just to express that. I can say z over 100, z percent of, of 82.5 must be equal to, and the percentage for the value added tax, the z percent is $9.9.90. Okay, now pretty easy. Um, since I have a fraction here, I could quickly turn that into a fraction and also turn that into a fraction. And then I'm going to find my LCD, my lowest common denominator. Okay, um, when, when I compare all denominators, I have a hundred here, one there, and I have a one there. So my lowest common denominator would be a hundred. So I'm saying a hundred into a hundred goes one time. So I'm multiplying Z times one would give me Z. 1 into 100 goes one time, this one here, and then I'm going to multiply my 82.5 by 100, which would give me 82, so this would be times 82, 8,250, okay, and that would be equal to 1 into 100 goes 100 times, and I multiply my numerator by 100, which would give me 9, nine zero so now basically z is multiplying this number so it simply means i must divide through by i must divide through by 8250 so divide what i do to one side in my equation i must do to the next side okay so obviously that will cancel that so i would have z is equal to and when i divide 990 by 8250 my answer is 0 z is equal to 0 point, point 0.12 however um it is very important to note that i'm working with a percentage remember they ask us to find the percentage so i can say therefore um i must say z is equal to 0 0.12 times 100 because percentage is out of 100 which would give us a total let me just pull this up a bit a total of 12 percent okay 
So I have a total of 12% and it's that easy. Okay, bye-bye.